Hello and welcome back to this video. Today I want to talk about why I quit my job as a software engineering manager working for a big German-based automotive tier one supplier in software engineering. But before we do that, let me first introduce myself. My name is Florian. I'm in software engineering software development for more than 20 years now and my mission is to help you taking your next step in your software career. Whether that's from programmer to software engineer or whether that's from a software engineering position to a software leadership position, my goal is to help you grow your software engineering know-how and help you taking that next step. And if you want to be part of that journey, then please subscribe to my channel for more software engineering content just like this. Now, coming back to why I have quit my job as a software engineering manager. First, let me give you some background. I work for now seven years at a German-based automotive tier one supplier and I started there seven years ago as a senior software architect, then became a engineering supervisor after one year and then a year later I was manager for a software engineering department that had a globally distributed team in Europe, in China, in India and I also work with a lot of colleagues in the US. So why would I want to leave this job? Well, first of all, I have to say I really had the opportunity to work with an amazing team. As I said, globally distributed, but we really worked very closely together. I really enjoyed working with the different cultures before the pandemic, visiting also the different sites, working with the teams there, seeing the teams grow. It was an amazing time. They still have an amazing product that was helping making driving cars safer, protecting occupants in case of a crash. So also a clear purpose-driven product, saving lives. There's not a lot of better things that you can do. But almost a year ago, I found a job ad on a LinkedIn post. And I found this job ad very interesting. It was a role that I always thought I might be doing sort of in my five year, 10 year plan, but not now. And I thought about it. And the more I thought about it, I realized the employer is a very good match. The position itself is a very good match. The location is a very good match. So why not doing this earlier than I anticipated? So I sent in my application and it was a very long process. It's a kind of role where there's a long application process. There's a lot of filtering be done. There's a lot of scrutiny applied. But in the end, I was able to start this job on 1st of February this year. And I'm now a professor for computer science at the Baden-Württemberg Cooperative State University. And I'm also helping there to build a new study program, Embedded Systems, Automotive Engineering and Aerospace Engineering. So why was this position such a good fit for me? I always have liked teaching computer science concepts, software engineering concepts. That's also one reason why you are able to watch this video right now, because I really love talking about those topics, teaching about those topics, and that's why I've started this YouTube channel. The second thing is the university is a very specific and kind of unique study model. In a way that when you're a student there in your bachelor's degree, then you work for three months in a company that pays you. Then you are three months or six months in the university and have lectures you are also paid during that time. Then you are again three months in the company, three months in the university and so on. So it really alternates between working an industry job, getting the hands-on experience and the lectures, getting all the theory you need at the university. 
as a professor there, you are always in touch with the industry. You are always keeping up with the latest industry trends and you are very connected to the industry partners. And that's something that I really like. That's also something that I have seeked out during my PhD, where I was at a normal university, where usually you are more in a research position, not doing that much engineering industry related work, but they already seeked out those industry collaborations. And that's why this employer, the Baden-Württemberg Cooperative State University, was such a good fit for me. Second of all, I will also be able to do research there. And that was the other big thing that also motivated me to join this position. And also in this research, these industrial partners play a big role. So you don't do research that's far away from industrial applications. You really do things that matter now that help companies now or at least in a five year horizon. And that's the other nice thing about having this context to the industry. So does this mean something is changing for the YouTube channel? No, definitely not. Maybe I have now even more interesting topics to talk about. We will see what the future is bringing. And of course, I will also keep doing the software engineering videos. I will still work on content for you that will help you being a better software engineer, taking your next step in your software engineering career. So if you don't want to miss those videos, then please subscribe to the channel. If you found this announcement interesting, then please hit the like button. And of course, if you have any comments, questions whatsoever, please put them in the comments below and I will see you in the next video.